Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily remove rocks or trees or any other objects from an area in city skyline. So this works for both rocks that are floating in the air, um, which I, <laughs> for some reason, even though there's loads in this map, I just can't find at the moment, or for rocks that are stuck within buildings. So within city skylines, you have the default option here, the bulldozer, but you know, removing many objects like this can be an absolute pain and just takes a very, it's a very long and painstaking process. Luckily, there is a quite an easy way you can do this on a massive scale or a large scale. So what you will need to do is, first of all, you will need to have the Move It mod installed. And if you don't have this mod installed already, I have the link to it in the description. So you simply subscribe to it in your Steam Workshop and you make sure that it's enabled in the Mods Manager tab in City Skylines and then you're good to go. So once you have Move It, in, uh, move it enabled, you have this little four, uh, these four arrows here. If you click on this here, you have all these little options here. So we're going to click on the square, the mark Q square. So currently it's selected everything. So at the moment we just want to remove trees and um, I think these are called no so we want to remove trees and I think the segment. So we don't need buildings. We're not on props. Sorry, the stones are props. So everything else we want to deselect because if we leave these selected, this is going to destroy the road. It's going to nose by the way are the these are the points on the road. So I'll show you now quickly what a node is. Um, ba -ba 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 -um. This here is a node, I think. Anyway, so once we've deselected everything we do not want to remove, and we have just selected what we want to remove, in our case props, which are rocks and trees, then we can just do this here, like so. And then if we click this little bulldozer here, you will see that the rocks vanish. And then we can do the same process here. And then if we do this, all this vanishes. So this is a really easy way that you can get rid of objects, trees, uh, rocks, anything you do not want to appear. Because what happens is if you use the prop, I think it's the prop anarchy tool, the one that allows you to place vehicles on roads. So like these strands here, as you can see here. What happens is that... Uh, Rocks and trees are no longer automatically removed when you place a building, so you have to do it manually. So with the Move It mod, it is just a lot quicker and more efficient to manage and to get rid of rocks that are embedded within buildings or areas that you don't want them to be in. This also works for areas with floating rocks, but uh, I can't really find an area with a floating rock here at the moment. But the same process works, because what you may find is when you try to use the default bulldozer, you cannot move a floating rock. But with this option here, this will remove floating rocks. So this can detect a rock. And it doesn't matter if it's on ground level or it's at a higher elevation, it can still detect it. And that's basically, guys, how you can easily remove rocks that are either floating in the air or stuck within buildings. So, uh, if you have found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like. And if for more city skylines and other simulator con uh, simulation content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That is all for today. Until next time.